I hate this show. Yes, I'm here with another Teen Titans Go rant. It's been a long, long time. But this is the Spice Game. It is terrible. No, and just saying, if you are a casual viewer who dislikes this show, you will only find it okay. But for an internet reviewer, you have to take things one step beyond here. They're saying that excitement is bad. They're saying that taking risks is bad. Pretty much, that's what they're saying. Here's the thing. At first, they said that, at least. This is a take that to formulaic plot. Yes, the take that to that. They've sunk in that low. They've said... They said, you might want to be bland, or if you're exciting, you're going to get viewership. You're going to get people who respect you. But once you get so high on the respect scale, you're going to go all down. That's exactly what you're going to do, children. After all, there is such thing as too much excitement. There is a thing such as um, too good writing. There is such thing as not trying. That's what we do, children. That's what we support. No, seriously, this episode has... Let's put it this way. Robin is a bad cook in this. And he doesn't like a little bit of salt in it. He does bland potatoes for his dinners. Yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of person they're putting him in. And I do hate the character. In fact, as I might have said before, there are two ways to know if this episode is going to get to that second tier of badness or not. And the key character to that is Raven. If Raven acts smart in an episode, it has a chance, okay? It really does, usually. If Raven acts dumb in an episode, it's doomed. It is doomed. Smile Bones slightly had this. Oh, and the other way for an episode to be doomed from the start is me spoiling Cyborg being complete jokes. So, episodes like Artful Duck. Um, or if Raven's trying, or if the men are sexist towards the woman. There are so many ways for this show to have a terrible episode. In fact, I might have to do a future thing about that. But what kind of horribleness is this? So, using the guide, we can say that since Raven's dumb in this episode, it's going to be a bad episode. Vegetables, an episode that I will rant on falls directly right flat into that category. That's how vegetables works. And this episode falls into that category as well. Now, to be honest, the normal plot of this episode is just bland. The comedy of this episode is non-existent. Which, you, uh, they've actually proven to be very funny at times. I mean, even for me, a disliker of the show saying they can, in some episodes, be funny. Um, case in point, the episode Video Game References, where the Frogger segment with Beast Boy made me laugh hysterically. And it takes a lot for me to laugh at something. Modern Simpsons, I built up a Simpsons immunity. Yeah. That's me. Like, not just modern, but classic Simpsons episodes don't get a laugh out of me because I've seen all of them. And it's not just that that's the reasoning. It's because I can't, I know with the humor that they use. So I built up Simpsons immunity. That's who I am. I might even be building Grouty Falls immunity. Based on how Stan Turian Kennedy was very funny, yet it wasn't the most funny episode yet. 
Um, but let's get down to it. Th these rants are my longest for sure. Trust me, I'll do long rants on He Night and Go. How do I put this episode in a nutshell? Malicious. You know how Return of Slade and, well, the other one is... Oh yeah, let's get serious. We're like this and poke fun at other programs that were better. I just hate the message this episode has. It must be the way I took it. But they're pretty much saying stay as bland as possible or you'll drive your viewers insane. So, basically, I'm finally getting to the plot now because I'm so ticked off at this episode. That's how much. Um, basically, Robin's cooking's bland. The others, Beast Boy introduces others to Spice. They go off the deep end, Spice have to go and fight a milk cow. Easier said than done. Okay, here's a habit of the show I want to get the axe on quickly. Their habit... So, to have four characters do something versus the one that would get the point across. The Hungry Belly scene is a perfect example of this. They go through all four of the Titans for it. They could have only gone through one and made that a lot more effective and probably saved runtime for later on. Oh, I forgot to mention this episode has a song. I haven't attacked any of the episodes that have songs in them yet, but it's time to do it to this one. It sucked. It was, it beyond sucked. Because it was so, so forgettable. I will never even hear that song again. I've forgotten the lyrics after one thing. Take Steven Universe, on the other hand, which has its song stuck in my head for my life. I still hear to do it for him in my head. You do it for that. You'll do it again. Yeah. So, the final complaint I'll just lay out here is the milk cow. Now, because they're saying that milk is the ultimate thirst quencher. It's the only thing that can get rid of spice in your mouth. Teen Titans Go, sponsoring milk since today. No, but, yeah, they don't ignore that. I mean, they don't, I'm done here, okay? Thank you for watching this rant, and subscribe. I'm just joking, I'm not.